Okay, uh, I want to continue uh, the last video, which was about incidence matrices and graphs and networks and flows in the network. Um, so that was 5.6, this is 5.6b, and I'll remember the same graph. You remember a graph is some nodes, four nodes here, and some edges, and in, in this case, five edges. So I have a five by four matrix, and that's what it was. And I'll remember how it was created. Every row corresponds to an edge. So the first edge there goes from node one to node two. So I put a minus one and a one in columns one and two. That tells me what that first edge is doing, and it gives me one row of the incidence matrix. Five edges gives me five rows, there's the matrix, and here I'll multiply by V, thinking of a vector V as voltages at the four nodes, and I get that answer. The, the one and minus one produce this kind of answer. Okay, now I'm ready for questions about the matrix A, the five by four matrix. These matrices, these incidence matrices are beautiful examples of rectangular matrices where we can ask all the key questions about a matrix and get a nice answer. And the key questions that I have in mind are, what are their solutions to A, V equals zero? Are there, that, asks, that says, are there combinations of the columns that give the zero column? So it's asking, are there, uh, are the columns dependent? If the columns were dependent, then I'll find some solutions, and here I will. If the columns are independent, the only solution I will find will be V equals zero. But this, those columns are dependent. Now, how can we see that? Well, in this case, we can find a solution to A V equals zero because I can see how do I, how do I get all those differences to be zero? Well, not hard. Uh, v could be the vector of all ones. Then the differences would all be one minus one, would all be zero. I would be solving A V equals zero. And of course, I can multiply by any constant. The voltages, so it, it, all I'm saying is, if all the voltages are equal, there won't be any flow. If all the voltages are equal and I don't have any uh, batteries or other sources in the, in the network, there will be no flow. And, uh, and, and that's, those are all the solutions. The only way I could make all those b z zero would be for all the v's to be the same. So all the v's have to be the same. V is c, 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 and I learn that something important. A, ha, a v equals zero has some solutions. And uh, I'll just jump ahead one electrical moment. Uh, that's not good if we want an invertible matrix. If in the end we would have A transpose A, and it won't be invertible unless we do something. And what do we do? We, we want to get rid of that last column. We can have three columns, those will be independent, but that fourth column is a combination of the others. And what we do in reality is we ground a node, which means we set one of the V's, maybe V4. If we set that to zero, it's like we're fixing the temperature, we're fixing the voltage. We often have to do this on a sliding scale. If we only know differences in temperature, we have to say where is zero? And if we make that point zero, then we have only three unknown voltages and a five by three matrix and all well. Okay, so that's the discussion of A V equals zero. Now what about A transpose W equals zero? So now I'm asking about the transpose of that matrix. Now this is a 
4 by 5 matrix. Again, beautiful example, 4 by 5 matrix. W, of course, is, it's a 4 by 5 matrix multiplying W, which is 5 by 1, so 4 by 5 times 5 by 1, and I want to get all zeros, four zeros this time. Okay? Right. So, uh, first of all, if I have a 4 by 5 matrix, so when I transpose this, this is, sh you could say, short and wide, I think there are automatically solutions. There will be solutions in a 4 by 5 matrix with five unknowns and only four equations, I'm going to have some solutions to that system. So there will be some solutions. Well, the question is how many d different W's could I find? How many different solutions? And what do they mean? And that's the beauty of this example, that it's not just a bunch of 20 numbers in the matrix. The matrix has a meaning. The incidence matrix takes differences, A to AV is differences in V, but what's the meaning of A transpose? That's the key question here. Why is this equation very important? Okay, so I have to tell you the meaning of A transpose, and maybe I have to copy down what A transpose is. So let me go to a next board and copy down A transpose. So I'm looking now at A transpose W. Okay, so now it will be 4 by 5. So that first column, first row becomes a column. The second row becomes another column in the transpose. The third row, another column. The fourth row is that column, uh, yes. And the fifth row is that one. And that will multiply W1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to give 0, 0, 0, 0. And that's called the current law. Kirchhoff's current law. And what is that law? What does it mean? It means that in the network, at a typical node, so at node one, you remember, there was an edge out. Edge one went out. Edge two, three edges went out, actually. This was to node two, this was to node three, and that was to node four. At node one, three edges are going out. And what does the current law tell me? It tells me that the total flow out is zero. The net flow, any flow in, which would be f negative W's, uh, and any flows out, which would be positive W's. W, that came from the first edge. This was maybe the second edge. And I think that happened to be the fourth edge. Flows out of W. And that's what I see here, a 1, a 2, and a 4 are multiplying W1, W2, and W4. Are the, uh, get, uh, the first equation there is minus W1 plus W2 plus W4 equals 0. So that's it first came from the first row of A transpose W equals 0. Right? I just took those numbers from the first row. I wrote down that, that first equation. And you see, it says exactly the sum of those three flows has to be zero. So if there are some positive flows going out, there must be some negative W's coming in to balance. OK, and, and that was at node one. And similarly, at nodes two and three and four, currents balance. It's the balance equation. Kirchhoff's law It's the balance equation. It's conservation, a fundamental f equation in, in modeling applied mathematics is 
if, if a body is sitting there in equilibrium, then the forces on it are in balance. If, if I have steady flow around a network, the currents are in balance. Always there's a balance equation so that things are not collecting up at a node. It's, it's stable. Okay, so uh, that's the meaning of Kirchhoff's current law. That's the meaning of A transpose W equals zero. And what about solutions? Solutions, W. Now, so now we're getting down into the details. Can we actually find the Ws? Well, there will be some. There will be some. As I said, we've got five unknowns here and only four equations. So we're, we're certainly going to find a solution. And let me suggest one good way to look for it. Suppose uh, the flow, let me put in the other two edges. Suppose the flow goes around a loop. Loops are the key here. The key to the solution is a loop. So that's a flow that sends a flow of one along that edge, a flow of one going that way along that edge, which I think was W5. Uh, and a flow one going that way. Oh, pay, pay attention. It's going, so to send one amp around the loop, I, I go with the arrow, with the flow, this way and this way, but this one is against the arrow. So I'm, I'm thinking that a solution is W1 equal 1. You, you see I'm writing down a solution without doing any elimination or, or other linear algebra. I'm just understanding the picture. W1 is 1. W5 is 1. W5 is 1. And what is W4? Negative 1, because it's going against the uh, arrow. And, I, and the other two Ws are 0, W2 and W3. This was, this was W3 here. Those are not involved in this loop. So there is a solution with W2 and W3 equals 0. And I think that uh, Kirk, it, how could it fail on Kirchhoff's current law? Nothing is piling up at a node. We're just sending it around a loop. And of course, I put in that's a 1. W2 is a 0. W4 is a minus 1. I have a 1 and a minus 1. I get 0 just right. And all the equations would be so solved. So, in other words, conclusion. The solutions W come from loops in the network. Every loop in the network gives me a W. Here's another loop. I could send flow down there. Now that would be a W4 plus 1. This way, this way. Do you see that second loop? Let me. Let me draw my little loopy symbol. The flow going around that loop. That loop happens to have four edges on it. So I'd have four W's. One, minus one, one, and minus one. And no flow on edge one. And I would have another solution. And it would be a different solution. So I'm going to, from, can I insert here, two loops. In that graph, I see two loops, two small loops, and each of those small loops gives me a flow, a W, that solves the current law because it's just continuously running around and around. Uh, now, there's another question to ask you, and that is, what about the big loop? W1, W3, uh, I think that is, and minus W2. What if I send flow around the big loop? No problem. That gives me another set of Ws. Those satisfy Kirchhoff's current law. They satisfy these equations. They satisfy A transpose W equals 0. But I don't want that big loop. In, in, I don't want to include that in my list of Ws. 
because I was only looking for two W's. I was only looking for two W's, and a linear algebra told me that was the number to look at, look for, and here you're suggesting, I'll blame you, a third around the big loop. So what's up? Well, do you see it? The flow around that big loop does solve A transpose W equals zero, but it's not new. It's the sum of a, a flow around that loop plus a flow around that. Do you see if I add on, if I add together the flow vector, the loop vector for, for W for that loop and for that loop, they will cancel on the edges that are in both loops, and I'll just be left with the flow there, the flow there, and the flow there, and that's the big loop. In other words, that big loop doesn't give me a new, it doesn't give me, it gives me a vector w that's a combination of what I already have. And in linear algebra, that's always the question. You want, you want the number of independent w's. And this big loop is a dependent w because it's the combination of the other two. Okay, so that's the picture for one particular example. Uh, I'll just end with uh, linear algebra facts. Linear algebra facts. Okay, so how many, so if I have an M by N matrix, And suppose A, V equals zero has, has how many independent solutions, shall I say, K independent solutions. And in my example, the incidence matrix, the answer was the, for A equal incidence matrix, K was one. So if I know the number of solutions of that equation, then how many solutions do I expect to? This has, uh, so how many solutions do, will, do I expect there? It, it, the difference between M and N comes in it, and then plus K. So independent solutions. That's a basic fact of linear algebra that I never wrote down before. I never wrote it in this notation. I'll make that a question on a future linear algebra exam. What I'm saying is that uh, if I know how many solutions uh, AV has how many combinations, these are combinations of the columns of A that give zero, then I know how many combinations of the rows of A. And let's just check that uh, the, this count, counting theorem was correct. This was K equal one, right? The only solution to AV equals zero was the constants, one, 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 one. Then M was five, N was four, K was one, five minus four plus one is two, and that's the number of loops, loop solutions. To H to Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, we have a voltages, we have currents, and I uh, there's a lot of beautiful uh, linear algebra involved with these matrices. Uh, I'll also include a video about RLC circuits, which are totally an application of this, and uh, there I'll begin with just one loop, one RLC loop, but the reality of, uh, of, a, of, a, of modern electronics is thousands of nodes, thousands of, of uh, edges, maybe tens of thousands of edges, and uh, many, many loops. Good. Thank you.